Dear friends, welcome to my video. This is the part 2 of the video series in which I will tell you how to create a Android uh, chat messenger app. So in the part 1 of this video which is hosted on my YouTube channel, you will get to know how you can do the programming and create the uh, app and I have also shown it working on the emulator. In one of the other videos I have also shown how you can download and install this app uh, in your mobile phone, in your Android phone and use it. So I will recommend, I will highly recommend you to go through this video before watching this uh, uh, this video because in the, in the part one I have almost completed all the basic uh, programming and it's more than sufficient to do or learn how to do uh, or how to build this uh, app the chat message app in the second part i will mainly focus on how to tackle or how to pass the strings which you get from your uh, files file based database so if you remember or if you have already watched my previous uh, video you will see that i have done this uh, Java code and which gives me the output something like this on the emulator and if I go to my uh, database which is hosted on Firebase which is provided by Google free of cost you will see uh, my messages comes over here but the problem uh, which I did not resolve in my previous video was how to take care of this unique ID which uh, this uh, Firebase provides so there are two options to do this first is like instead of unique id even the database also provides us an option that we customize this unique id as per our requirements say for example we can have some kind of custom id field uh, based on our application or based on some kind of uh, parameter and even in the uh, advanced chat messages uh, set chat messenger they don't keep this unique ID but they have some nodes here based on the user profile so for each user they will create a node and then with respect to timestamp or other factors they create lots of structures so it's a database structure here which I will not go in detail in this uh, uh, video but the, my main purpose of this video is to show you how you can take care of this uh, unique ID which comes in the uh, output in the chat message app so let's uh, start so I am continuing my code from the previous video so uh, again I will say please watch my uh, previous video the link which has been given uh, at the top and also it will be displayed at the end of this video ok so first thing I will show you although not necessary but uh, over here if you see we are this is the part where we are sending the message or, uh, or whatever we type here it goes to the database because of this part of the code so over here if you observe that we are just simply pushing it so if you simply push uh, the <coughs> text message whatever is typed here it will by default the firebase database by default will take any unique id and display and uh, assign that uh, value to that because it needs a kind of a structure to uh, store the message it cannot be free floating so to do so it creates a kind of unique id to do so to avoid that what we can do is we can probably follow some kind of pattern for the simplicity of this video I will just have a date time stamp uh, or the current uh, date, date time as the uh, unique ID instead of the, the default one which the firebase provides so let's see so I will just modify this uh, code and create instead of push I will create a child node with a string Okay, so instead of string, I will uh, first create a system and I think there is something command called current time release. So what this will do is it will return the uh, current time in milliseconds. So I think if you go into the details, it will probably start from a fixed time period somewhere in uh, uh, years back and it will calculate how many milliseconds have already passed from that particular uh, time. Or, yeah, the reference point basically in the time space and if you observe it returns a value in the long format it's not in integer, integer format or string format so and this child node will only accept the string format so we may have to convert this long into integer so to do so what we can do is we can have a long dot uh, I think it's 
long dot two string yes and then we can have this inside this yes so now if we let let me just update my app with this whatever changes we have done and then we'll see uh, if if it happens or not so i will before running this uh, i will first show once again or probably i can do side by side parallel in parallel yeah so here you see my first three messages are in um, that it takes the default uh, unique id from uh, google or firebase and now i will create a say for example fourth message and it should take some kind of yeah this is what i was expecting so this is this is the milliseconds which have passed till now so yeah so this is our uh, id our unique id so this is what i was exactly telling that we can try to have some kind of pattern fixed pattern uh, instead of unique id provided by uh, database and we can use that pattern uh, for our reference even you can use probably some kind of naming convention or something like that probably i can have one more message here message and let me see what happens it's still yeah so of course some seconds have left so it's it's not it's five has become six here and yeah so it's a six message uh, fifth message over here yeah but if you observe it's still my database no i can i'm able to give or control this unique id based on my parameter but the output over here is still jumbled up so to clear it up what we can do is uh, let's see our code once again so in our code i think uh, this part of the code add even listener so whenever there is any change in the uh, values on data change it reads the values and displays it over here but if you see for the simplicity of this code i just kept one line of the code where it just reads the reads directly the complete uh, uh, this uh, message here and displays it so that's why the formatting is not so good so to make it better what we can do is we can just try some kind of uh, manual parsing of the strings over here and uh, take it in an array format let's see how we can do it so to start we, we will have to have a string array of course we don't know the size so we can keep it like this and we can have this instead of giving it there we take it over here yeah so now all of this uh, will come okay so since we are signing an array and here the, the output of this will be in a string format so we have to uh, split it up and if you observe here the messages are coming with commas so we can use this comma as a split uh, element to get it into a array format split and then i can use the regular expression comma here yeah. so now i will get a series of uh, uh, my messages which are with comma separated in an array format and further adding to this what i can do is no now one by one we have to read all the values over here so i will have to assign a probably a for loop and or you can use any other looping but we have to do a basic looping so i am trying to keep it simple over here and i less than messages dot length and then i plus plus yes and once we have done this so inside this what we have to do is again if you observe for any particular message it starts with uh, whatever and in between it comes as equal to sign so in right hand side of this equal to is my actual message and left hand side of this equal to is my id unique id so we don't want that so we can just uh, have this messages again broken down into two pieces and we can have something like say for example uh, again oh, i can have uh, final message and this is equal to messages and here i will take one by one uh, each element of the array and then i will split it using this equal to sign so now this final message will be an array of two elements left hand side or the first element will be the unique id and the second element will be my uh, real message so now we can use this as a 
to assign message to my uh, uh, to my text area my text probably yeah my append and what I can do is I can probably use this final message and I can uh, since it's an array I would have to use so here I'm giving one value because it's a second uh, element and uh, yeah and if you're observing I'm hard coding everywhere all these values one and all those things it's not a good programming practice in professional life so if you are really doing it please uh, uh, have some kind of pattern and macros defined for all of these things just to keep this program concise and simple I'm I'm just uh, uh, keeping all these things over here for a time being yeah okay and before we start this for loop probably what we will have like to do is we'll have try to clean up the previous whatever the text area certain are so because we are using the append here so it will always append the values uh, uh, from the database one by one and we don't want anything to be written from beforehand in this text area of my app so I can just put a node cleaning the text area yeah okay so I think more or less is done we could have put some try catch uh, to do some kind of handling but uh, for the timing I leave it like this for the simplicity and I'll just try to see what happens uh, here if there is some kind of exception stone probably I'll uh, put some kind of trackers so if you see yeah okay you saw now it's all cleared up all no, none of those uh, unique IDs are coming and it's all coming one by one in a kind of uh, series this slash n is responsible for the new line so that's why you are seeing every message is coming in a new line. So after fifth, probably I can type this six message, and I can click send. So if you see over here, it comes as a six message. Then uh, seven message, and it comes here. Now, yeah, if you are wondering how does this orders is determined, again it will uh, you'll have to go into the details how this values comes from the database. Uh, in uh, what format and but what I will suggest is once you have a fixed pattern of your own you can use this uh, pattern to sort your message according to the time stamp if you want the time at which they will entered or any particular format which you want to enter I'm not covering this into this uh, video but if you are really having questions please put in my comment section and I'll help you out on that front as well okay so you can see no uh, more or less yeah so uh, my unique ID is gone and also you have a better controlling uh, element over here with which you can control your uh, messages and if you are not liking uh, some of the previous messages probably we can delete it using this yeah and yeah so if you see that high is got high has got deleted I don't want second message also so I just delete second message and that is also gone and yeah yeah, but this order again, I will repeat, I am not sure, uh, we will have to again debug and see how this uh, uh, series and order is maintained. But once you have the control of this unique ID, you can easily control the order of this uh, during the parsing. For the simplicity of this video, I will repeat that I am not making it very complex programming. But if you have questions, please put it in my comment section. But before I end, I will again suggest please do watch my uh, first part of this video, which is more or less sufficient for you to learn the complete chat message app uh, programming. And if you have any questions, please put, please put it in my comment section. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.